Hi Virgo friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. Virgo, this is going to be your November 2019 monthly reading. Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Virgo, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Okay, they didn't flip up. We're not going to look at that. Sorry, guys. I'm using the Grand Lux Tarot deck by um, my favorite. Circle Marche. Okay, Virgo. Wow. <laughs> okay, Virgo. There we go. Virgo. Spirit. Sun, moon, rising sun. going nuts for you guys. Virgo. Almost dropped the whole deck. You guys got some energy today. Wow. Queen of Swords reversed. Your foundation. Wow. Ace of Swords. I already see truth, clarity, epiphanies. Five of Pentacles in the recent past. Crowning you. Three of Swords reversed. It's forgiveness, healing. Even healing financially. Page Cups. Okay. Definitely truth coming to light, especially regarding someone that, you know, might have been on the outside looking in with the five of, of pentacles, something that was a challenging situation. You know, what, with the, whether the, what, what, whatever this five of, of pentacles, whether that was, you know, you Virgo or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, most likely female with the Queen of Swords. But, you know, she's also all about the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Is definitely out there. The Five of Pentacles, definitely your energy. Definitely could be your energy, Virgo, with the Five of Pentacles. But, you know, with the Page of Cups, communication, that's loving, it, it, that's going to, you know, messages, that's going to make you very, very happy. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords, guys, this is a big, I love you. And I do also feel a big surprise. Like, it's it's just, it, this I love you is a big surprise. 
and it is someone that you've not dated before. It could be someone, it could also be you doing this for someone else. Like I said, this is you know, healing, forgiveness. You know, I'm sorry. This could be, a, you know, a huge I'm sorry as well. Page of Cups, Three of Swords. Definitely. Someone definitely apologizing to you, you, them. This apology is going to this air sign, female. Leaper Gemini Aquarius. Because the Five of Pentacles is in the past. And this is your energy, you know, just like, just, you know, just feeling left out. It could be because this person isn't even looking at you. You know, it's like, You know, this also too, you know, all of this could be lacking financially, the truth coming out, you know, but the page, you know, the page of cups is an offer or an opportunity. And the ace of swords, but it's like saying, I'm here for you. Let's communicate. I need to tell you something about your love life. If you've been dealing with someone that's been really hurt with the Queen of Swords. Because I do feel like they're basically clinging to this ace. It's like this person definitely wants to recover. They want to forget, you know, forgive or move on. And then, you know, I think you know, for some of you, this is definitely your energy with the Page of Cups. You might actually be hoping for the best for this person. And it could be a friend of yours. Because it really does just, I, it feels like you care about this person. It really does. Let me see what's at the bottom of this deck for shits and giggles. Wow, the magician. Oh my, and the nine of cups. No. This is a manipulator. Manipulation under the, under this. There's a manipulation under this genuine heartfelt with the Nine of Cups here. Literally, manipula manipulation is beneath this, this heartfelt offer, communication, messages. It is messages of love, but it might not be like in written or verbal form because it does appear that someone is like blowing the other person off. So if, if, if there is this energy that you're sending of love to another person, unfortunately they don't, they don't feel you like they're not into you or vice versa Virgo. You're not into them. You're just not feeling it for them. Because on the outside looking in, someone wants to share joy. They do in some way. Even here too. But 
The only problem is this magician. You never know what's true and what's not true. So this person might think that even you're a manipulator. Or you might think that they're, that they are. And you do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, possibly you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces with the Page of Cups. And of course, you could have any of this in your chart. Listen, if there's nobody else involved, no other people, the Queen of Swords, and this is you, Virgo, clinging to the truth of a situation, you might feel that, you know, you want, you might, you might feel like you want to file a lawsuit because you feel like someone owes you money or you're trying to protect yourself because you don't have the money to give someone. But again, someone needs forgiveness, whether it's you or them. You know, any of these, any of these court cards can be your sign. Because it's your reading. However, very strong air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, is connected to this heartbreak, sadness with the Three of, of Swords. Someone's definitely recovering from a difficult situation. It just feels like It, I mean, it, it, it does feel like that there's definitely forgiveness that's needed. No doubt about it. But I don't know, Virgo. For some reason, I do feel like it's like it, it's you that, that needs to have the forgiveness. Because the, the magician does represent your sign. But again, you know, if it's not you then definitely one of these other signs. All right, I'm going to use the Gilded, same author, Circo Marchetti. We're going to go right to this Three of Swords. said that the seven of cups flipped up I feel like some of you are dreaming And there are some illusions. Let me get another card there. reverse no communication or it's delayed communication you know it just looks like maybe you're kind of looking up to this person but this person is looking away you know unfortunately it does look like they're not paying attention to you for whatever reason Eight of Wands reversed, Page of Cups, The Magician, Internet Communication. But you might not be showing your true self on the Internet, which definitely a lot of people do do that. You know, and then you're dealing with this person that wants the truth. Like, they just don't want bullshit. I'm going to 
get another one there. Just taking them. Wow. Judgment and the Ace of Swords. Let me look at one more thing. Let me see this Queen of Swords. Probably gonna be that one. Wow, you have the King and the Queen here. Okay. Wow. Virgo. Um, okay, there is no doubt someone wants the truth so they can make a big decision and you may not want them to make this choice. You know, the Queen of Swords reversed. I'm going to get one more on this Queen of Swords. Ten of Swords. Virgo, I don't think you want them. You, you, you don't you don't want them. You don't want them to make this choice. You don't want them to stay put. You just want them to be done with a situation with you. Or they want you to be done with them. You know, I feel like that decision has already been made already. If they already have the truth about a scenario. Especially maybe if it's, it, you know, has to do with anything legal. Money. Then it really is the end of a partnership with you. Or they don't want to reconcile with you. Or you don't. The bottom line is, you know, the forgiveness is there. But that's it. That's as far as it's it's going to go for right now, anyway. But it's there. Doesn't mean it can't change next month. There and there is definitely a whole lot of truth, clarity, a huge awakening that is definitely coming in for some of you. I think you've been waiting on this for a while too, Virgo. But it's coming. Wow, what a reading. All right, Virgo, absolutely love you guys. Have a great month. I'll see you back here with your love month, please. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Um, like to get a private reading, all that stuff, all the info you need right below the video. Take care, guys. Bye.